Right guys, we've all heard the statistics. Nine in 10 startups fail within the first year. I've had the fortune of setting up numerous startups since the age of 16, and I'm going to give you my top three tips on how you can make sure your startup survives. Tip number one, make sure you have your story clear. Don't be one of those people that start their business just because they want to and they start ambling along in business. Inevitably, those are the ones that fail within the first year. Make sure you have found a problem in society or in the marketplace and you're simply coming in to provide that solution. For example, let's say you're taking your wife out for a meal and you know she loves sushi, but at the same time she loves a restaurant where there's live entertainment. So you go out searching for a restaurant, restaurant which serves sushi and also live entertainment, but you can't find one. There is the problem and now you can go out to provide your solution and suddenly you have a story which people, more particularly your customers and the people that will buy into your service can relate to because they would have went through that exact same problem. So don't be one of those people that set up a business just because they want to you know, hit a financial goal and they don't actually want to solve a particular problem. Find the problem first, provide the solution through your business idea and make sure that your priority is to solve that problem for each and every one of your consumers and customers. Tip number two, and we've all heard this before, cash is king and that's no more so true than for startups. Within the first year, if you don't have a sufficient plan to make sure you're monitoring your cash flow, you will be one of the nine in the 10 that fail within the first year. Um, and as bleak as that sounds, it's the ultimate truth. You need to have a plan that even if not many people buy into your business and service, you're able to cover your overhead. I mean, your rents, your rates, your basic staff costs, and all your supplier costs, your inventory. If you cannot cover that for the first year while your business tries to gain traction and gain momentum, you will ultimately fall into the statistic of the nine in 10 that do not make it through the first year. And that's not what we want to do. So make sure before you start out, you make you write out a diligent financial plan of how you're going to tackle your financial cash flow problems through at least the first year. And after the first year, you go into how you're going to do that for the second year. And I can go on forever with the top mistakes that people are making with their startups, but my third and final tip that I'm going to leave you guys with today that you can take and actually action upon is a lot of people underestimate the sheer amount of work that is involved in a startup. I mean, we're, we're sold the vision of and you know how sexy being an entrepreneur is in today's world, but ultimately the amount of work involved in being an entrepreneur is a lot more than your average nine to five job. So we're sold the vision of a four hour work week where you can be in charge of your business and take holidays whenever you want and you know spend time doing the things you love. And yes, you can, but ultimately, and particularly within the first year of your startup, you're gonna be working harder than you've ever worked before. But it'll be great because you'll be doing it for something you're passionate about. But the key thing I want you to take away here is don't underestimate the sheer amount of work you're going to have to put in, especially within that first year. So let's recap. What are my top three bear traps that I want you guys to really avoid when setting up your first startup business? The first, make sure you have your story clear. Find the problem in the market and make sure you're providing that solution to your customers. And I can't emphasize that enough. Don't just amble along. Second, make sure you have a financial plan to cover your cash flow problems for the first year. I can't tell you the number of businesses I've seen that have you know, folded within the first year simply because they could not pay their rent and their salaries. Make sure you have a plan to get you through that first year and give yourself at least a fighting chance to gain that traction and that momentum. And third, and most importantly, in my opinion, don't underestimate the sheer amount of work that you're gonna have to put into this business of yours. It will be yours and you'll be able to cultivate it from scratch but there's gonna be a lot of stress, there's gonna be a lot of difficult times, and you need to really grind through that and keep hustling and keep working hard, guys. Like I say, be tenacious. And that's it. That's my top three reasons for why most startups fail and struggle to make it through the first year. I hope it's been beneficial to you, and if it has been, please do share it with anyone you think would benefit from it. And don't forget, please like, comment, and subscribe.